All right, everybody, and welcome back. This is part two of four of our major esports live stream day today. We're really excited about how jam packed we've got our schedule today. Um, we're waiting for the tournament in uh, College of San Mateo to, to their classroom tournament to wrap up. Um, the feedback we're getting right now is that it's really con hotly contested. Um, so they're giving their players an opportunity to really do um, to really do their best, and so we can really get those top two champions. In the meantime, I realized that we spend a lot of time talking about. You know, oh, go to blackrocket.com slash esports, go to blackrocket.com slash esports. But I've never actually shown anybody what that's going to look like. So what I want to do is I want to take this opportunity to show you how to really get involved with um, Black Rocket Esports both um, during the week and on the weekends when we're having those weekend tournaments. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look over here. Um, the URL is, as I've said, blackrocket.com slash esports. And when you come to this page, you're going to land on a page that's going to look a lot like this. And you're going to see the top two buttons right here. We've got two games that we can play. We've got Assembly, and we've got Battle Royale. Assembly, that's the stuff that we see today. If we click on Assembly, it's going to just bring us right to the Assembly page. And it's going to load up. I log in, and I'm ready to go. Okay, So that one's, that one's the easy one. What I also want to show you is how to play Battle Royale. Um, what you need to do, you'll click on the same thing. You'll click Play Now. And it'll bring you to a page right here where you're going to need to download either the game for Windows or for Mac. You're then going to download that. You're going to get a um, you're going to get a file that's going to uh, you're going to unzip that, and then in there you'll click on the Battle Royale engine game, and then you'll be able to jump right in and start playing. Um, if you've got friends who are playing, you guys can set up your own private room code, and you guys can all play together, practice, and do all that so you can get ready. Um, as far as the weekend tournaments go. You'll be able to check in on your progress um, with our leaderboards on this page down here where you can see you know, who's been getting those Battle Royale wins and who's been doing really well in assembly and things like that. So it'll give you that opportunity um, to really, once again, get involved and get out there and start playing. Because weekend tournaments, you get those most prizes, you get those wins, you get uh, those points, you get prizes, and that's what, you, that's what you're looking for, that's what you're striving for. And you can get those either in single player or um, multiplayer by clicking quick match, and hopefully we'll start seeing um, you know, really close, hotly contested um, weekend tournaments as well. Um, the other places you can see us, obviously, right here, where you're, um, if you're watching us on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash LLC. We can go to that YouTube page once again, and I'll show you more about our YouTube page um, between one of our breaks later. That's youtube.com slash brpclips, um, and I'll show you what we have going on that way. Uh, the other thing you can do is, as, um, as students, as teachers, if you want to get involved on one of these weekday live streams, you can email us, help at blackrocket.com, um, and tell us, say, hey, I'm really excited. In my class, we want to be a part of one of these live streams, and we can get you involved, and we can get you on the schedule, because we want to have, we want every day of the week to be like this. We want tons of matches every day. So get out there, get involved. In just a few moments, we're going to have our class um, from College of San Mateo give us our two champions. We're going to be ready to go in just a moment after this break. All right, welcome back. We now have our two champions. Now, these two players, um, we have Sammy and we have Ethan. Now, these two players have competed with over 20 other players in their class tournament to come out on top. So it's really exciting to have these two players um, ready to compete for us here in just a moment. Um, for those of you who weren't here for our earlier stream, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what's going to happen here in Assembly. Um, players are going to join. They're going to select their um, objects. They're going to build their levels. And then the two players are going to compete in what we call our gem race. Um, in just a moment, as, we get, as I say that, our draft pulls up. So I'm going to go ahead and look over here and see what our two players do. We have um, Sammy is our blue player, and Ethan will be our red player. Um, we've got sticky blocks. We have our switch blocks. Um, which which uh, kind of let a player bounce on them, go through, and then land, and they'll switch if it's uh, you know solid or not. Um, we have uh, again those vacuums that'll suck a player in. Um, robots, pretty common one that we see fairly often is, are these robots. Um, the spikes, um, the lock box, and the um, disappearing block. Now the disappearing block. Uh, what I've learned is that you can actually continue to walk, as we see here in our preview. You can continue to walk on a disappearing block even if it's not visible. So a player who places that, maybe they've got a bit of an advantage going into the level, see what we're gonna see. All right, let's take a look and see what our players put together here. Um, looks like we're on the power plant map. Um, so right up here we see our 
first block, that's the blue block that's being placed by uh, Sammy. And where Sammy has hidden our key is right down here, right at the beginning, sort of down here by this toxic barrel. Um, Ethan's key uh, is on the move. Um, and is placed over here by these by this lockbox. So it looks like, okay, um, both these players have determined that what they're going to do is uh, they're just going to lock up all the gems. So when we're watching them, the key is going to be can these players get those um, keys? And it's going to be who gets the right keys for the right gems because different gems are locked up by different boxes. Um, so that'll be interesting to see if people are able to, to remember which gem they've done. Because as you can see, gems can sometimes be fairly close together, like these two. You know, personally, I'd have a really hard time remembering which one was the red lockbox, which ones were the blue lockbox. Um, so we'll see how the players handle that um, situation. They might just go and hammer it down if they can only, you know, they'll get one of the keys and then hammer down the other color if they need to. Um, see what else we have happening. Um... Two crushers above some of the gems. Um, here's an... I'm not sure if you can go through the sticky blocks or not. This one... Um, I'm not sure depending on where the, how the hitboxes work out with... Uh, uh, where that where that is for the players. They'll be able to maybe grab that one before touching the spikes. But I'm not sure if they'll be able to get past the sticky blocks enough in order to, to gather that gem up. Um, both players have maxed out their building. They've clicked finished building. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it here in just a moment. Uh, and let's see who's going to jump out to that earlier lead. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I was interrupted a bit by the drafting process happening, but the players um, in this will be playing three matches of this gem race. Each gem they collect is going to be worth um, a, uh, uh, about 500 points. Um, we'll see who grabs this first one. Oh my goodness! We are both players grabbing that gem almost at the exact time. And as I was about to say, gems are worth 500. I'm immediately proven wrong by our blue player, Sammy, who has uh, already found that you can actually get a gem, and if you get it in really rapid succession, you actually end up with more than 500 points. Um, so rapid fire round. Um, okay, let's take a moment to go ahead and, and think about what we just saw. All right, we saw uh, our blue player, Sammy. Sammy grabbed four gems. Um, our red player, Ethan, grabbed two gems, which the, the interesting thing about the two gems that Ethan grabbed were two gems that Sammy also grabbed. They actually ended up tying grabbing on two of the gems, which is rare to see once, let alone twice. So we've got two players who are very evenly matched. And as you saw, they flew through those rounds. I'm going to go ahead and bet that we're not going to see any of these games go the full length of time. These players are in it to win it, and they know how to navigate, and they know how to get those gems. Um, in the meantime, we're going to get those two players ready, set up, and go. What I want to show you guys um, is I want to go ahead, once again, real quick, go over and highlight our YouTube page. Um, that is at youtube.com slash brpclips. When you come into that, you're going to find our YouTube page, and we have a lot of different videos up here. The ones I really want to highlight um, this time is I want to show one of our Project of the Week videos. Um, these are really great. They're an opportunity to... Uh, uh, we have... Uh, they're nominated by teachers, by students, and if you have an opportunity to actually see... Uh, if we see something that's really great, the best project we get to put up on the week. So what I want to do is, while we're waiting for our players to get ready and get in the game, I want to show one of um, one of our more recent ones. Um, this one was from July, uh, the week of July 8th. And I want to go ahead and show off um, what that player created. So let's take a look at um, their... I took my glasses off too quick. <laughs> take a look at what um, this person put together. And they were part of our um, Lego animation course, and they were able to put this together. Um, so let's take a look and see what Hello. we see here. Already on board. Um, I love me some Spider-Man. I think that's fantastic. Now the, this class uses, um, you know, stop motion animation, which is really neat. And that's done by taking um, frame by frame pictures and putting them all together quickly for a video.
All right, so that was a really cool uh, that was a really cool project we got to see from um, one of our uh, one of our students who took our Lego animation course. And so if you uh, make a uh, make a project that you're really proud of, go ahead and um, go ahead and uh, have that have you or your teacher nominate you for um, project of the week, and you might get to see your project featured on a stream as well. Um, I'm in the room, so we're going to go ahead and have the other players join here, and then we'll be all set. What I want to say, um, once again, is I want to talk about how quick those players played. And that was really impressive. We saw... The, they were playing so fast, they were scoring over 500 points of gem. And anytime you see that, you know that the players are going quick. And they join quick. It's just a quick group. Let's see what happens here. Both players playing really well last game. We'll see if they continue to adapt those similar strategies. Um, Sammy, super ready just goes for it right away. He's like, I know the five objects I want and the level. Da 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 da, -da. So done. Um, Ethan's going to take a little bit more time to think about it. Um, Ethan, of course, being a few points behind uh, Sammy right now. Uh, so we'll see if he's like, you know, maybe I want to change it up. Maybe I want to get some of the uh, some of the cannons in. Now the cannons, when they're selected, um, they're really strong in that they actually fire through walls. So even if you, you think you might be safe behind a wall, not with the cannon, you're going to get eliminated. Um, we've got the lock and key once again. The one-way block, uh, you can only go the direction kind of of the green stuff. Um, you know what? Liam's, or not Liam, uh, Ethan, not selecting any of the things, just going to go with, with whatever fate throws at him. Um, you know what? Which is confidence. Maybe he's playing that psychological game with their opponent. I don't even need to select what uh, I'm going to use to beat you. I'm just going to beat you with whatever I can. Um, uh, let's see what we take a look at here. Um, some invisible blocks down here preventing players from falling down. Now what's interesting about that is a player can, in a level like this or in several of our levels, um, a player can take what I would say, a, a, what I would call a tactical elimination. You know, uh, eliminating themselves so they spawn closer to maybe where a gem is. That actually plugs that kind of that whole bottom area up. Which would be really interesting. There's a couple gems down there. But we'll see. I, I kind of like that. Um, you don't see that often. You don't see players kind of making it, I don't want to say easier for themselves, but removing some of the hazards, which is an interesting strategy. I really like seeing that. Um, again, these players are, are out in California. Maybe they do things a little bit differently out that way. Or out on the West Coast. Um, uh, it looks like we have Sammy building a lot of, once again, going with those lockboxes. And... I can't, I can't say that, there, that there's any reason that didn't work swimmingly um, with, with Sammy collecting all four gems in what feels like record time. Um, I don't obviously have statistics of exactly what the fastest time is, but that one was up there. Um, we have some of those cannons right here. Now this, this, this is going to be tricky. The, that's going to create a situation where players are going to be basically... Um, have the cannon fire at them as soon as they spawn. And then if they try to jump over it and they get past that, there's another cannon firing. If I were a player, that's probably a place I would consider um, using one of those precious hammers to eliminate, um, only because of how difficult that is. And I believe the cannon will fire through those blocks, even if it looks like they're blocked off. But we'll see in a moment here. And yeah, see, as I was saying, that cannon fires right through. Doesn't... I also didn't notice... Last game they went so fast, I didn't even notice that they were blue and blue. Um, Sammy being our darkest blue player, uh, and uh, Ethan being our teal player. Um, we'll see if I remember to call him teal. Uh, our first gem is up in that corner up there. We've got some bats in the way. We've got a crusher. That was really, really close for Ethan. He almost got that. Um, Sammy taken out by that um, that tight uh, cannon placement. There's that spring there. Ooh, that was a good good two gem gra or good gem good grab there from Sammy. Sammy doing a great job there. Sammy now with two gems. Um, let's check in and right as I say that, uh, Ethan's able to grab two quick gems again so fast that he scored over 500 points, um, which is great because that makes up for that gem earlier that uh, Sammy had gotten that was over 500 points. Um, and wow, okay. So in quick succession, I move over to look at Sammy just for a moment and Ethan grabs two gems. 
I'm gonna have to double check on our math here, but I'm thinking our players might be tied, um, given how they've they equalized not only the extra point gem, um, but they've actually now collected the exact same number of gems. So when I said that we had two players who competed over 20, that's why you get such an evenly matched group here right now, um, which is really exciting. Um, makes it hard on me as a commentator because they're doing things so fast that I'm not even able to keep up, but it's exciting. There's no uh, there's no downtime in this match, which is fantastic. We're going to take a moment here to let the players uh, get right back into our room. Given how fast they've been, I don't think this break will be too long, but we'll be back in just a moment. All right, we are back here with our third match. We're waiting for our player to join the room so we can get and we can find out who's going to win this. I'm not even convinced that these two players can't simultaneously pick up the fourth gem and, and somehow tie a gem race game. I, I mean, that's what I'd like to see. Is we could it, That would be the first time that, that's ever happened, is both players selecting is collecting eight gems in a game, which would be really cool. Um, in the meantime, I do want to thank our sponsor, Simply PHP, for helping put on this amazing, uh, exciting event. Um, if you ever need custom code for your site, go ahead and visit Simply PHP. And we've jumped back into the draft, so let's go ahead and see what these players go with. This time, Ethan with the quick selection. Uh, he liked that can. He liked what he got last time with some of those. He's got cannon, bat, vacuum blower, and spikes. Um, we have the falling block, the spring, the sticky block, the lock, and the invisible block. So block, 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 and spring. Um, which is really interesting. I kind of like the, um, the platforming angle taken by Sammy. And I also like the obstacle angle that we've got taken uh, by Ethan. So this will be really cool to see how, kind of how these players um, work that out. Um, in case you are watching, the the light the lighter color one, the blue one, is the vacuum, and then the yellow and blue the yellow and blue one is the fan. The fan blows, the vacuum sucks in, which you know that that does make sense. We're a toxic night. We've seen a lot of toxic night today. I think it's a very popular level. It's got a lot of stuff you can do there. So. Uh, I see why players like it so much. Um, wow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this right up top. Um, right here, we have uh, Ethan just throwing down those cannons. What's it? That's going to be really, really difficult to jump past. Um, it's going to create a situation where our players uh, are going to have a tough time getting to those top, uh, those top gems. Um, uh, one of the people in chat just asked, how's our day? Uh, day is fantastic. I am always excited when I can get a day full of esports and full assembly. And so that's what I'm getting. I'm getting really top quality games today. And that's what I really like to see, especially as a commentator. Um, we've got a, a, uh, a vacuum and uh, a vacuum and blower combo over here in this corner. Um, a spike that, or a spike, a spring that'll throw you I mean, straight into a girder. I'm not actually sure what. I'm not actually sure if the uh, the assembly uh, slime guy can even hit that or not. Um, but here we go. We're getting into our third match. We've got these players tied and tied in a wild one too. It's been very uh, very exciting. All right, let's see where our first gem is. It's up top by all those cannons. Um, let's let's zoom in a bit up this way. See what we got. Um, and bam, just like that, Ethan getting through the spikes. Through the bats, and then there's... Ooh, almost got that double gem pickup. It was really close. But this gives Sammy an opportunity here. Ah, oh, Sammy dropping that wall jump. Wow, that was really, really impressive. If you ever want to go... And again, another one from Sammy. Ethan getting a wall jump into the um, into the gem. Uh, finding that one over in the corner of the falling blocks. We have... Um, oh, that was so close for Sammy. Sammy was right there, saw the gem, got caught. This gives... Uh, uh, gave Liam an opportunity, but he gets we, we jump over just in time to see him nabbed by one of those cannons. Um, our gem is down here in the bottom uh, corner, and we saw uh, Sammy get right here down by this uh, by that spike. It looks like, and there we go, Sammy getting that gem. Sammy's one gem behind right now. Plenty of time left, a full minute of gameplay, which for these two must seem like an eternity, because as I say that, didn't even get the sentence all the way out, and we see Ethan grab. Two quick gems, and that will make Ethan our champion. Um, I want to say congratulations to these two players. They both put on an absolutely fantastic show for us here. Um, I also want to thank College of San Mateo for reaching out to us and wanting to be a part of our streams. It was an absolute pleasure to have you guys and to commentate your guys' match. 
Um, I want to thank our sponsor once again, Simply PHP. I also want to go ahead and direct everybody over to youtube.com slash BRP clips where you can see cool projects like that Spider-Man one we watched earlier. You can watch videos of the highlights of the stream so you can increase your assembly gameplay. Like for example, when we put this video up, I really recommend checking out that third match. And when Ethan makes a jump, from straight from wall jump on a one square wall jump over directly into a gem was really a choice and I really recommend checking that out. Um, that was very cool. Um, there's also other gameplay footage there, um, footage from games outside of uh, Bla Bla Battle Royale and Assembly. Um, you can also check out the action here, twitch.tv slash LLC. You can play all of our games, blackrocket.com slash esports. Um, you can also participate in our weekend tournament um, where it, that'll start in uh, one day and 11 hours. You can get into Assembly, start getting those points so you can try to win the weekend prize. Um, and there are prizes for whoever wins the, uh, whoever is the highest total for the weekend. Um, I also want to mention very exciting news. We now will be starting incorporating student levels into our Battle Royale game. So if you are in our Battle Royale class, remember to get those levels uploaded so we can put those into our levels and you might see your stage featured, who knows, maybe in the final battle of a Battle Royale round, which would be really exciting to get to see. Um, we will be back with two more streams today. We've got a stream at uh, 2.30 Eastern and 3.30 Eastern. So be sure to come back, check those out. Um, I have a feeling they'll be just as good as this one, um, if not better, and there's no way to find out unless you tune in and watch. So, uh, until 2.30, I will see you guys then.